Four out of five people will get an HPV infection in their lifetime, and some infections can lead to a variety of cancers. In tonight's Wear the Gown, Eyewitness News reporter Jeremy Baker introduces us to a nurse who shares how she beat cervical cancer. It's very rare, and it was very surprising for me. Danielle Biliate is a nurse at University Hospital. She found out she had cervical cancer in December of 2015. Unfortunately, I didn't get the HPV vaccine. It was around. Um, and when it was, I think I was already late in the age. Biliate did not get chemotherapy because it was caught so early and instead had a procedure called a radical trachelectomy. I had my cervix amputated and then I had, I think, about 18 lymph nodes from both sides of my pelvis removed just to make sure um, the, the cancer hadn't metastasized or spread. To prevent cervical cancer, regular pap smears are necessary and that very important HPV vaccine. Two doses of the HPV vaccine are recommended for both boys and girls at ages 11 and 12, but it can be given as early as age 9. After they get the first dose, the second one should be given about 6 to 12 months later. The reason boys need the vaccine too is because the virus can be spread through intercourse and can lead to several types of cancers. Biliate is now cancer free and uses her experience to help other cancer patients. I give them good perspective and sometimes I tell them, hey, I'm a cancer patient too and I'm a cancer survivor too. She doesn't have kids yet, just dogs, but because the cancer was caught early, she is able to have children. Just knowing that I have that option, it's, it's really great for me and I feel very grateful. Jeremy Baker, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News. There's also a gynecological cancer support group called Purple Heels, and we have that link to the page with this story on Kens5.com. And for more information about family health, call 210-358-3045. You can also find the rest of the Wear the Gown stories. Just head to wearthegown.com.